uh, ticket machine for the uh, the High Line, the uh, rope bridge. It looks like it's eight euros or about sixteen dollars for uh, both ways. I don't want it one way. Oh well. Ah. So that behind me is uh, Castle Erbeck, which arguably is a real castle. It's got walls, ruins, and uh, has seen even a couple of actual battles. Where we're off to next is not a real castle, but no less impressive. Next stop, Castle Neuschwanstein. Schloss Neuschwanstein is a very different beast. It's a romantic castle and definitely nowhere near as defensible as uh, Ehrenberg. However, without it, there would be no fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland, no Hogwarts. It's inspired all of those princess castles. Like Disneyland, it's very busy, so be prepared to book in advance or wait a long time to have a slot. Walking around the outside is completely free. However, if you want to have a look at Koenig Ludwig II's real treasures, you'll want to go for a guided tour and take a look inside. There we go. Disney's style castle with a Disney style turnstile. So at the moment, Neuschwanstein is a bit of a building site and uh, according to the staff it will be until at least 2023. So a good four years of works underway. While well, what they're doing at the moment is uh, commendable and uh, it's exciting to be able to see behind the scenes of the restoration. It might be just worth your while to visit one of Bavaria's other castles which are ruins and pretend to be nothing else. <laughs> 